Hi, my name is Sarah Delgadillo, and I'm the Director of Global Citizenship in Wabash. For my career, I work as the Director of Global Citizenship in Wabash. I work for three entities in Wabash, Wabash City Schools, the City of Wabash, and Girl Wabash County. For Wabash City Schools, I assist with the international student exchanges, as well as the educational exchanges of students and faculty, the international students who come on F-1 visas, and their dual language immersion program. For the city of Wabash, I assist with the sister city relationships in China and soon to be Japan. And finally, for the county, which is Girl Wabash County, I assist with foreign direct investment, which is foreign companies who are looking to expand or to move into Wabash County. I didn't actually choose this career when I was in school, but because of a lot of good decisions, I'm here. And what happened with a lot of my past experiences, they were internationally related, whether that was business or education. And so now working in Wabash with the city, the county, and the school system, I'm able to melt all of my passions together into one. I can have a single day where in the morning I'm welcoming Spanish teachers from Spain into our dual language immersion program. At lunch, I could be meeting with an Italian company to talk about opening a warehouse or a manufacturing facility in the county. And in the evening, I can be talking with the Lin Hai China Foreign Relations Department over WeChat about the sister city relationships and how we can further develop and grow that partnership. I love my job that I get to do new things and different things every day. The multicultural skills I use in this position vary day to day. However, I do understand that working with different cultures and understanding how they work together or relate to American culture is really essential. So here's a quick example. I had an employee once who in the one single day made a couple cultural mishaps that were pretty big. The one, she talked to one of our new Saudi students who had arrived into the United States and as a single woman, she inquired to him about his wife. This is not acceptable in Saudi culture. A single woman doesn't typically inquire to a married man about his family. So he was taken aback and felt a little bit odd about that question. Secondly, that same day, she uh, was working with one of our Thai grad assistants and patted him on the head, which we wouldn't think much of that in the United States, but the head in Buddhism is considered the highest point of someone's uh, body, right? It's also very sacred. Sometimes they believe that's where the spirit lives. And so you never touch someone's head if they are Buddhist. And so later that day, I sat her down and I said, hey, I noticed a couple of things that didn't go so well today. Let me explain. She, of course, felt awful, but it was an opportunity for her to learn from her mistakes. And so when we take the opportunity to learn about a culture prior to interacting with them, we can helpfully uh, avoid some of these mishaps. The skills I wish I would have developed as a student is actually the language skill to learn that earlier. For example, I speak Spanish, but I learned like many of us in the United States when I was in high school. I wish that I could have learned when I was younger. That's one of the beautiful things about Wabash is we offer a dual language immersion program starting in pre-K. So kids are taught in a second language, or for example, half of their subjects are taught in Spanish, half of their subjects are taught in English every day, starting in pre-K all the way up through school. So this opportunity is huge for these students to learn. You can soak in so much more of the language at a younger age. I wish I could have done that, but obviously I can't go back and change my past. The language skills that I have now, I need to keep honing in on those skills and giving myself opportunities to learn and grow in that area. For example, when I lived in Monterey, Mexico for a few years, I was easily uh, engaged with people who spoke English because it was a huge multicultural city. However, I would often try to be with students who only spoke Spanish. So these are interesting people from other countries or even the Mexicans that live there that knew no English. Usually by the end of the night, my head was hurting from trying to uh, understand or, or translate. But after a while, I stopped the translation in my brain and just understood the conversation. So putting myself in those situations allowed me to grow and, and use that skill. The advice I would give to students who are interested in doing something like I do would be to tell everyone you know 
what you want to do with your life. And even if you're not sure what you want to do with your life, tell everybody what you think you want to do with your life. For example, if you wanted to date a guy or a girl, you probably would tell all of your friends like, hey, I really like this person or that person. So do the same thing with a job. If you know there's a job or you're interested in a certain field, tell everyone you know that that's something that you'd like to do because you never know what connections that person might have. They may just introduce you to your next boss or your dream job.